kids, how are you today? Welcome back to our math lessons. I'm Miss Baby. Nice to see you. Okay, before we start our lesson today, I want you to prepare your notebook and a pencil. So, if you need, you can take a note there. Okay, do you know what is our topic today? That's correct. It's about sequence. Okay, so let's start. Well, Sequence. Have you ever heard about the sequence before? Or maybe, have you ever studied about the sequence before? Nice. Okay, before we continue our lessons, I want to inform you something. Okay, in the end of this lesson, I hope you can identify the rule for the general term of a sequence. Okay, first of all, let's see this example. Now, we have a number of sequence here. 20.1, 20.3, 20.5, and 20.7. What can you notice about this number sequence? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So, let's see the explanation first. Okay, uh, I want to know... What is the sequence? What do you think the sequence is? Hmm. Well, here I have prepared eight words. Nah, I need your help to arrange these eight words become the definition of the sequence. Yeah, of course, I will give you the time to think. Okay, so what's the sequence? Sequence is an ordered set of numbers, shapes, or other mathematical objects arranged according to a rule. In this lesson, I want you to remember four terms. Okay, the first one is sequence. Okay, the second one is term. What is term? Do you know what is term? Term is one of the number in the sequence. So, for example, we have a set of sequence, a set of number sequence. The number, for example, one, two, three, four, five. The number one or two or three, we call it term. We call it we can call it the first term, the second term, the third term, and so on. Okay, so next, we need to remember about the step. What is step? Step is the jump size. For example, we have a set of number, a set of number sequence, and then for the from the first term to the second term, how far the jump size? Okay, that we call it as step in mathematics. The last, we have rule. Do you know what is rule? Yes, rule is how the number are connected. For example, from the first term to the second term, how is the number are connected each other? Okay, let's see the example. Nah, this is the last question. Okay, do you know what is the step size? Hmm, what do you think the step size is? Yes, from the 20.1 to 20.3. What is the step? That's correct, 0 0.2. So, the step from the first term to the second term is 0 0.2 and it's also the same from the second to the third term or the third to the fourth term it's also the same 0 0.2 the step size is 0 0.2 next what about the rule do you know what is the rule of this sequence hmm. yes the rule is adding 0 0.2 so, from the first term to the second term, 
we add, we need to add, or we need to plus, we need to add 0 0.2. So 20.1 plus 0 0.2, we get 20.3. And then the rule is always the same to one of the number sequence. Okay, do you get it? Nice. Okay, let's try another one. For example, if I have, if I start at three, if I start a number sequence, the first number at three, and my step are 0 0.2, what will the fifth term of my sequence be? Of course, I will give you the sign to take. Have you got it? Okay, the first term is 3. Yes. How about this step? What is this step? Yeah, the step, the step is 0 0.25. Okay, so what is the second term? Yeah, 3.25. What about the third? Nice, 3.5. The next one? 3.75. What about the last? What about the fifth term of the sequence? How many? Good job. It's four. Yay. Good. Next, we have another question. Okay, now, here I have three question for you to try. Okay, the first, the second, and the third. Oh, yeah. You can also use your notebook and pencil to find the answer. I will give you the time. Okay. Let's see the number one. The sequence is start from 10. So the first term is 10. The second one, the second term is 20, 25, right? So what do you think is the third one, the third term? Do you think? Okay, good. That's 40. What about the next one? Yes, 55. What about the next? 85. Good job. So. What do you think the rule is? From 10, and then we are going to 25, and then 40, and then 55, 70, and 85. Yeah, the rule is, that's good. The rule is at 50. So from the first term to the second term, we need to add 15 to each number. And then it's uh, always the same to get all the answers. What about the second number? Blah, blah, blah. The first term is we don't know. The second one, we also it's blank also. And the third term is minus 12. Here, I have three questions for you. This is the first, second, and the third. Now it's your turn. I want you to fill in the blank and also find the rule for each sequence. Oh yeah, you can also use your notebook and pencil to help you to find the answer. Don't worry, I will give you the time to think. If you get the answer, good. Let's we discuss from number one. As you can see, in number one, we have 10 as the first term and 25 as the second term. What do you think is the third term? Are you sure? That's correct. It's 40. What is the next? Huh? Yeah. 
55. And after 55, they have 70. What do you think is the last term? What? Hmm. Yeah, it's 85. So, do you know what is the rule of the first, the number one sequence? Okay. Yes, the rule is adding 15. So you need to adding 15 from the first term to get the second term. Then we, we plus or we add 15, we will get 25. And the rule, it's the same to all the number in the sequence. Okay, let's move to the number two. What do you think is the first term? Hmm, are you sure? Yeah, it's negative 10. And next? What? Yeah, it's negative 8. And we have negative 6, negative 4, negative 2. And what do you think is the last number? Are you sure? Let's see. Yes, it's zero. So what's the rule of this sequence? Are you sure? Yeah, the rule is add two. So you need to add two in negative 10. So negative 10 add two or plus two, we will get negative eight. And so on to the next term of the sequence. And the last number. What is the first term? Are you sure? Let's see. Yes, it's 0 0.8. And we have 0 0.9. And what's the next? Aha, yes. 1.0. And then 1.1. And what is the next term? What is the number between 1.1 and 1.3? Yes. Correct, it's 1.2. So what is the rule? What do you think the rule is? What? That's correct. The rule is at 0 0.1. Okay. So do you think it's clear? Good. <laughs> So let's see. I have one challenge for you. Let's see these questions. These numbers form part of a sequence. Blah, 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 1.4, 1.7, 2, and blah, blah, blah. So we have missing part here. The first term and then the last term. So let's see the question. If 1.7 is the middle term in a sequence of five numbers. So 1.7 is, is in the middle. What are the start and the finish number? So or where, what are the first and the fifth number and the last number? Okay, I will give you time to think. Okay, what do you think is the first number? Are you really sure? Let's see. Yes, it's 1.1. So the first number is 1.1, and then 1.4, and then we continue 1.7, and then 2. So what do you think is the last number, the last term? Are you sure? Yes, that's 2.3. Good job. So, what do you think is the rule? What do you think is the rule of this sequence? Pardon? That's correct. The rule is at 0 0.3. Yeah, so 
by adding 0 0.3 to the first term, which is 1.1, .1, you will get the second term, that is 1.4, and so on. Continue to the next term in this sequence. So the rule is always the same. Okay. This is the last activity for you. So please try it with your bodies. We call it this activity as generating sequence. So you and your body will play this game, right? Okay, this is the instructions. First person given a starting number and the row. So for example, you are the first person. You need to write the starting numbers and you need to decide the row is. And then you ask your buddies to follow your rule to find the next number. And you need to take turn to continue until the sequence finish. How long is the sequence? It's up to you. So please generating the sequence uh, become long sequence. Can you do it? Good job. We are in the end session of this lesson. I hope you can get something new from the lesson and I hope it's useful for you. Please like and share this video and please support us by subscribe our YouTube channel. I am Miss Feby. Thank you and bye!